Can you wave? The question of what does a falcon eat does depend on the species, but most falcons eat other birds, which a lot of people are surprised to hear. The peregrine falcon, like the one I have here, loves to eat ducks, pigeons, shorebirds, and they've actually made their homes right in the middle of big cities. You can see them nesting on the side of skyscrapers with all-you-can-eat pigeon right at their talon tips. All of the eagles who live at our sanctuary are with us for different reasons. A lot of birds have wing injuries, eye injuries like this individual here. So they come to us from all over the country in need of a home. Since these birds would not survive in the wild, they call their home the bird sanctuary. My favorite bird to work with here at the sanctuary is Mischief the White-Necked Raven. Hi. Hi. Ravens are so intelligent. They have really just fun personalities. They love to explore and do new things. So I always have so much fun um, when I'm working with Mischief. I always look forward to spending time with him. <laughs> A big question that we get asked is how can you tell crows and ravens apart? There are lots of different species of crows and ravens. They're not all the same. Mischief is a white-necked raven, so obviously not all ravens have that white color on their neck. But probably the biggest difference between the two are that ravens are much larger. You can see Mischief is a pretty big bird. A lot of ravens can um, have really large wingspans. Some of them are pretty close to five feet. You can look at the shape of the tail, the different vocalizations they make, um, behavior, how many birds they're with. There are all sorts of clues to tell if you're looking at a crow or a raven. But they do both belong to the same family. Corvidae is the family and it includes birds like crows, ravens, jays, and magpies. Birds do grow really quickly. Ravens are going to start fledging at about six weeks old, but they're gonna hang out with their parents for a few months, and it's not until they're all the way at about six months old that they're relatively independent birds. Even so, they probably won't go out and breed and um, have babies of their own until they're two, three, even four years old. Raptors can only carry off about one third of their body weight, and they're a lot lighter than they look. Even the largest bald eagles only weigh about up to 14 pounds. So you can imagine the biggest bald eagle out there can only carry off about four or five pounds. Not nearly enough to carry off a, a human child or anything like that. Sometimes you will find raptors that swoop at people, but it's not because they want to try to eat you. Usually they are protecting a nest that maybe you wandered too close to or something like that. People ask me what my favorite kind of bird is and it's really hard to choose because I love all birds, but emus, like sprinkles, are definitely one of my favorites. They're really goofy and playful. Um, as you can see, they're kind of snuggly and cuddly. Oh goodness. And some of my fondest memories are um, raising emus as little tiny babies zooming around, so I just love them. When it comes to training, I'm always asking myself, how can I get the bird to want to do the behavior I'm asking for? So all of our training at the Bird Sanctuary is done through positive reinforcement based methods and we're giving the bird choices. So a bird doesn't have to do something it doesn't want to do, but if it does do what we're asking, it gets a reward, which could be something like a little seed. Can you wave? Good. <laughs> So training is a very positive experience for the trainer, for the animal. It lets us build a relationship. Honestly, it's a lot of fun and I love my job. I wouldn't necessarily say that I tame the birds that I work with. They're always going to be wild animals, but we do work really hard to build trusting and positive relationships with the birds that we work with every day. You can visit all of our birds at the World Bird Sanctuary, which is right in St. Louis, Missouri.